Welcome to another video for twopeasinabucket.com. This is on creating a paper holiday ornament using the Making Memories slice. Here's what the ornament looks like. It's actually very simple to put together. And um, first I'll show you how to use the slice, just a quick and easy way to use it. Here is the glass mat that it comes with. It's, I love this because it's got these little feet on it and it sits real nice on your work surface. It's nice and thick. Now, it, the slice comes with a removable adhesive that you can put down to hold your paper still. However, I'm <clears throat> kind of lazy, I guess you could say, and instead of doing that step, I wanted to be able to do this quickly, so I'm just putting a little piece of masking tape to hold it down. This works fine for me in many cases, but again, it does come with a great removable adhesive that basically you just squirt down and spread out. It's really easy to use. So this is the slice. You can see that little round button right there. That's the power on button and you just put it down on top of the mat. Now you can get a 12 by 12 glass mat. I have one on order but I don't have it yet. So you just choose basic shapes and you can see how you use these arrows to move around between the different categories. So you can just select one and then within the categories you can pick which die cut shape you want to cut out. So I'm going to go and look through the shapes and I want to pick out a shape now I'm kind of scrolling between the pages. I want to pick out a shape that would be fun for an ornament. And I decided to go with the star. So I'm just going to position this right over the paper. Now it's, this is where you just go through and um, choose the size that you want. I'm going with the biggest, which is four inches. And you can see you can pick anything very easily from here. So I'm going to select four inches. And you can see that little circle with the X in it right there. That tells you where it's going to start cutting in the corner. So here's this green button over here. You see it on the right? When you push that, it starts to do the cutting. So now it's cutting. And in a few moments, you'll get a screen that says that the cutting is complete. And you can just hit menu and then lift it off. I, I'm shutting it off too. And you can see that the star is cut. Now it's real easy to position it so that you can cut it in the exact spot on the paper. Um, for this I'm just using some scraps of Making Memories papers so I'm just going to go through and make several of these stars and I'm going to keep both pieces but you can see how nice and perfect it cuts. Very easy to do. Now there's lots of other tricks with it. I just wanted to show you a quick and easy way to use the slice and of course you can keep the negative for making something else too. Now this is how I made the ornament. You can do this with punch pieces too, but I really like the slice because it makes nice and big pieces. So I'm going to put a little score down the center. I couldn't find my bone folder, so I'm just using American Crafts rub-on tool, but just helps to fold it nice. So I'm folding that star in half. Now I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on half of it. I like to put a good amount on there. And we'll set it aside. Now I've got another star, and I'm going to fold it in half also really don't need to score it. Um, it just kind of helps in making it fold right on line. So now that I have this folded in half, I'm going to stick that half of this piece onto the other half that has adhesive and just line it up. So you can see it lined up there. And you're just going to keep on adding pieces. So here's another one that's been folded. Applying some adhesive to it and sticking it onto half of another one. So you can see where there's two different halves there, that's where you're going to adhere more stars. And here I'll show you, I think, one more here. I'm doing a mix of Making Memories pattern papers. This is a great thing to do with scraps um, and make lots of them to cover a tree. And just adhere another one on here. I think I did eight different stars um, to make it a nice and full ornament. And when you're done, you just glue the last two flaps, like those that red dot and the green, you would just glue those together, and you would have a completed ornament. So here's the finished project. And I just tied string through the opening in the star, and I tied a ribbon through it and added some gems. It's really quick and easy to do, a great gift for just about anybody. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, tutorial on the slice. If you have any questions, visit twopeasinabucket.com. Thanks for watching.